Hello coolers and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with this transfer report claiming that Barcelona have joined the list of clubs interested in this highly rated Argentine midfielder Enzo Fernandez who plays for Benfica. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Palmeiras sensation, Hendrik, who have recently opened up on his European dreams. He have named Barcelona duo as players he admires. We are also going to be discussing on everything he had to say on that. So guys, before we get right onto the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you are just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are highly welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch the video right up to the very end. Benfica have taken European football by storm this season under the management of Roger Schmidt. The former PSV coach has instilled eye-pleasing football with a high level of efficiency in the team that was missing last season under Jos Jesus. As it stands, they are top of the Portuguese league with 11 wins and 1 draw and even topped their Champions League group over PSG. At the heart of their champagne football is Argentine midfield maestro Enzo Fernandez. The 21-year-old has the world at his feet this season and is unsurprisingly a subject of interest in the transfer market. According to record, Barcelona are among the teams keeping tabs on the Argentine. The competition is fierce and the report suggests that Manchester United are crazy for the player and are ready to take action in January itself. Enzo has scored one and assisted two goals in the Premier La Liga, but has created eight big chances for his side across 12 games. The midfielder is an excellent creator from deep and is generally deployed in a very Xavi-esque DLP role. Benfica are tough negotiators and know that they can easily force a bidding war for Enzo in the summer. Most recently, they sold Darwin Nunez to Liverpool for nearly 100 million euros and will be looking for nearly 50 to 70 million euros for the Argentine maestro Enzo Fernandez. Barcelona have been searching for midfielders, to be specific, defensive midfielders this season. Um, but looking at this young sensation um of course he's a central midfielder not a dm but barcelona are showing interest are showing interest in him he has been spectacular this season for benfica and of course benfica are in the midst of what of, of a season never to forget because they are doing so well both in europe and also in their league there in portugal and it was really surprising that benfica were the one who topped the group including paris Saint Germain. that was on the last day so it, it tells you how a good season Benfica are having currently. And of course, when a season is good like that for a team, definitely the players there are spectacular. Everything is just good from the coach to the players in all departments are so good. So it is not surprising that one of the players there who is a maestro in the team, pushing them or you know, contributing a lot to the success this season has been attracting interest from many top clubs. So Enzo Fernandez is an Argentine and of course, Barcelona are, have joined the race because they are saying that United are the most talked about um, club that are linked with him. They are going crazy for him and they want to make as fast as they want to make a move as fast as in the January transfer window. So it remains to be seen how the bidding will look like because Benfica, as I said earlier, are not easy negotiators. They have been selling top class players. Everybody always called Benfica a selling club. Look at Darwin Nunez was a one season wonder last time out was sold for 100 million euros to liverpool of course that tells you how they know how to sell players um they make a lot of money from sales you know it is a historic uh, selling club they know how to build good players and sell them and they not like they they never collapse benfica have always been a top club there in portugal even the, despite them selling their best players every every season so let's see if the race for Enzo Fernandez will favor Barca or will favor United or whatever. But I don't know. We have been linked with uncountable number of players, Barcelona. But I don't know if this one will work out. But if it doesn't work out, then it's not surprising because 
um, our success rate for transfers after link with players is very low. So let's see if Barcelona will get their hands on this. Then on to the next story of discussion. Speaking to EFE, Palmeiras wonder kid Hendrik has once again iterated that he desires to move to Europe one day amid strong links to the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid. The 16-year-old is one of the most sought-after young prospects in the game. Currently, after enjoying a fine breakthrough year, having first burst onto the scenes at the Cofina tournament, the teenage striker has broken into the Palmeiras first team setup and made a splash there as well. Recent reports have indicated that Barcelona have fallen behind the likes of Real Madrid and PSG in the race to sign Hendrik. However, the 16-year-old insists that he does not have any preference with regards to his European destination as of yet and is now focused only on Palmeiras. He said, Obviously, my dream is to play in Europe, but I'm focused here. I'm not looking at the things that are being talked about or what teams are coming or, or what scouts are coming. I'm just focused on Palmeiras. I have no preference for any team. He added when asked about his favorite team in La Liga. However, the teenage sensation did insist that he loves watching Barcelona and Real Madrid in action, naming several players he follows, as he said, Benzema, Lewandowski, Vinicius Junior, and Rafinha are high class players that I try to watch to learn a lot from them. In five senior appearances for Palmeiras, Hendrik has found the back of the net three times in the process becoming the club's youngest ever goal scorer, even as they won the Brazilian Serie A title recently. The 16-year-old's contract with Palmeiras runs until the summer of 2025, which contains a 60 million euro release clause. He cannot move to Europe until he turns 18, and whether Barcelona can win the battle to sign the teenager will be interesting to see. The race for Hendrik still, um, is still getting heated. Barcelona, Real and PSG, the three clubs that are strongly linked as a stance. Of course, the player having a written interview being asked about those links. Of course, um, you will expect him to say he's focused on his primary career now. You know, he does not want to get distracted. And he also insisted that he has no preference for any club because there have been a lot of questions if he would like to join Barbasa or he would like to be a, a, Real, um, a Real Madrid player. But he said it blatantly in this interview that, look, I don't have any preference. Let's just see what the future holds for me. But now I am focused on Palmeiras. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.